All right, so the first thing we did today was work on the left-handed control, um, handlebar control. Had to rewire it all the way back to the battery. Um, today we used a lot of shrink wrap, heat, heat shrink. Um, we wired up the left and right turn signals, the brake lights, the horn, um, and then of course the, the running lights. So probably the biggest troubles we had today was trying to figure out the flasher module, flasher relay. Um, just had to keep going back and forth over the uh, power and ground. So we did that. Um, we also worked on the horn. <laughs> Works great. Um, got the low beam, high beam headlight. Kick on your beams, Kendall. There you go. Cool. And then the brake light. Um, yep, it's working. Works pretty good. Um, the only thing we really have left now is we need to get our license plate lights going. Well, actually, actually we've got that light there. I bet that works fine. Mm -hmm. um, got to do that. Um, we got to fix the tubing for the engine, uh, do the fuel line, and then the, the breather pipe there. Um, I've got a silver plate that will cover the void here. Um, unfortunately, it's an electric start, so we're not really able to get rid of the battery like a like you can with a kickstart. Um, what we're going to do is just put a, a number here. We'll do it on both sides. Um, just kind of help bring the bring this together. Um, we have our on and off switch here. Then we have our starter switch here on the other side. I did it on the right side. That way. Should the vehicle, should the motorcycle be in uh, in gear or anything, you can pull the clutch, hit your starter, and um, you'll be fine without jolting. Um, I think that's it. Everything's pretty well wired up. Just got a few loose ends and uh, be ready for barber. Cool.